I, found, I read an interesting story about Chianti. It seems that the Chianti classical producers are saying that the laws in Chianti are, are too strenuous for them to make wine and, and be competitive. What? And my question is, when? when the hell did they ever follow the laws anyway? Yes, right. <laughs> when did you find? When did you read that? I just read it the other day in one of those one of my blog, one of the wine blogs that I. Well, I, but I that you, you, you know you didn't taste uh, his Chianti. It was excellent, uh, Melvin Masters. Melvin has a Chianti. Yeah, oh, was, I didn't know that. It was great. I'm sure it was. And he's not complaining. It was, the, it was very reasonable. Well, was it a Chianti or a Chianti Classico? No, it was Chianti. Yeah, see, this was Chianti Classico. Oh, so they're see? complaining. Yeah. Oh, this is great. I remember this one. Hey, th welcome to the Vintner Series for June of 2013. I'm here with my co-host, <coughs> and his name eludes me. Yeah, my mother says that too, kid. Yeah, well, sorry. Yeah. How about your kids? Yeah, kid. Yeah, they remember me. Yeah, okay. Um, wow, this is really good. I don't know. This is this really, really good. This is, uh, so this is the Merlot, per, 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 it's mostly Merlot and Cab, Baron de Fontesgour. That's my French accent. Mm-hmm. All the way from Palsberg. Mm, the nose is so classic. Wow. Now, we just featured a Bordeaux um, in the limited series. This is the Vintner series, and it's a, it's a very different wine, and yet they're still both Bordeaux. Yeah, you it know? is different. This is an 11, however. Yeah, which is going to make a bit of a difference. I mean, twenty two ninety nine on the shelf, twelve ninety nine on a reorder price. This has time in the box. It's got a little acid in it. Well, this has got, got this has got that that little licorice component that you get from the wines out of out of the the, mm -hmm. the, the left bank, not the right bank, in Pouillac and and Saint Estef, which I love. You know, and uh, I mean, you know, if it's had Pouillac on it, it's going to be fifty dollars with no label, right. just just an empty bottle. But that's my know. favorite. That's one of my favorite districts. Is Pouillac. Well, it's everybody's favorite district because the wines are. What do you mean impressive. everybody's favorite district? It's everybody's favorite district. Okay, then I'm going to move districts. <sighs> Fine, <laughs> and nobody will follow you. <laughs> so anyway, I'm giving this a 96. I think it's amazing. I agree. That's great value for 12.99. Unbelievable. Can I change value. that price now? No, it's too late. It's no. already out there. Right. Excellent one. You know what's about it? The finish is still there. I'm still tasting it. You know. Mm -hmm. Bainted Ben. Now this is that brand that we featured. We've done three other wines over the last few years. One of them was a Pinot Blanc, which just was incredible. That was really good too. Yeah. And this one, uh, they sourced some uh, Monterey mm -hmm. Chardonnay. Right. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. I believe so. It's just, it says California, but it's Monterey. For, I know it's Monterey. It's mostly Monterey, but not enough to get the Appalachian. God, this apples and the greenness. Well, yeah. It, you would not know this is an 09. You just wouldn't know. Mm. Well, that's because it's got great acidity, you know. And acidity mm. is, a, is a preservative for wine, so it, it keeps it fresh. This goes over here. Man, that has so many f green apple and apricot and... It really does have green flavors. apples. It has a green apple, I, I can see, in Chardonnay, but not apricot unless there's botrytis in there. Yeah, but there's some there's some stone fruit. Yeah, in there. there's definitely stone fruit in there, and you're right. I do get I could, do get a little apricot, and it's delicious. Mm. And what really saves it is there's not a lot of oak. There's just a hint of wood, and there's great acidity. Man, flavors are. I really like this. Seventeen ninety nine on the shelving, you can find it. It's very it's very. They made very little of it. I think they made four or five hundred cases total. Eleven ninety nine for more, which. I mean, come on, eleven ninety nine for wine, a Chardonnay like this, when you put up against all those shelf items at eleven ninety nine. It's way more complex. That was really fun. I'm doing thanks, it. Thanks for sharing it. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. You know, sharing is caring. Okay, this this blew me away. Uh, last year, <laughs> wanted way too much money than we could afford, but worth it if we found it on the shelf. And then they came in the other day and they go, Hey, what would you what would you think if you could, you know sold this? Uh, Syrah, you know, we sell for twenty five ninety nine. What if you could sell for fourteen ninety nine? I'm like, what do you mean? What if I could do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is Kargasaki too. This is not some guy who's going around playing, playing winery. You know, Kargasaki is one of the top wine, uh, vineyards in the Santa Rita Hills of Central Coast of California, which is the new, you know, DRC of mm -hmm. California, Santa Rita Hills, because of the cool climate and the great soil. Kargasaki is one of the major fine vineyards there. And this point conception concept of them, yes. of theirs, is um, 
picking the best from lots that don't necessarily come from their vineyard, but they obviously know what they're doing. Can you imagine this in 05? Taste that. Well, this is seven years. Mm -hmm. It's bright. It's Almost got fruit. Eight. It's not gamey. It's just great Syrah. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's so fun. Look at the color. It's like youthful. Yeah, but you know, don't forget, these, these wines, these grapes are on the vine for a long time without picking up excessive alcohol. Mm -hmm. What's the alcohol in here? Does it stay even? Oh, I really enjoy that. This one I might be able to stump Mrs. K with because she just, she won't drink Syrah for whatever reasons. But she, every time I just try to slip one by her, she goes, I don't like this. And this one I think she'll no, like. this it. one, so balanced. I, I, I'm not a Syrah fan either, but this is delicious. And the one you're going to feature from Melvin, which that is the great, Syrah yeah. and Grenache, that's, a, that's unbelievable. Mm. Wow. So this is all of $25.99 on the shelf. It was, if it's had Kargasaki on it, it would be 60 and it's fourteen ninety nine a reorder, and I'm doing a ninety five on that. I'll, I'll match that ninety five with a ninety six. <laughs> Just like last night, I was talk, watch, trying to watch the uh, Kings game on my phone, and somebody asked me the score. I said it's zero zero Kings. <laughs> <laughs> Back to ninety plus. This is lot number sixty six. Now here's the thing, so, right? We tasted a, a Sauvignon Blanc from them, which we featured in the other club, which came from New Zealand, and there's and a now recently, we have a Mosul recently. Yeah. It, that's Let's pretty. That that's pretty wild. They're, they're pretty brilliant marketers. And I just, I thought this was nice, subtle recently. It didn't jump out at you. It didn't have all that kerosene in it. It's just good quality. Mm, the nose is good. Deep cuts. Wow. Ooh. Love that apricot in there. Mm -hmm. You know. I know you like Riesling. Ooh, we, I love Ed it. loves Riesling. I love Hate Riesling. Chardonnay. I like Riesling and Riesling. I don't hate Chardonnay. That's a misnomer. I don't find it quite as exciting as Riesling. Okay. What would you serve this with? Um, what sous vide dish would you serve this with? Oh, I'd say Helen Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, kind you know, chicken. Uh, not even chicken. Stew, it's not right. No, I, I, I made a I made a a, a, a pasta dish with oh, with. Um, man with saffron and a reduction mm. of, of cra crayfish shells, mm. you know, mm. and oh, Jesus, that was, that was, this, this would have sung with it. Crayfish you know. shells? Really? Yeah, it's called Nantua sauce. It's a, it's a Louisiana concoction. It's, wow. It oh, is, that'd it be is, perfect. It is this. the richest shellfish uh, sauce you can make. It's more, it, it's more, uh, it's, it's, it's richer than lobster stock or shrimp stock. Mm. Crayfish. They're, they're. That would be really good with that. Oh, unbelievable. I just wow, this actually is really, really. I just something. swallowed that. Actually, it was so good. God, this is eleven ninety nine on the that's reorder. A joke. That's a that's incredible. It was a typo. Well, neither, but the ninety eight I'm giving it isn't. That's yeah. A, that's just yeah, out of this world. Eighteen ninety nine on the shelf. I, you probably can't find it, but so happy these guys stopped by, and I'm glad you stopped by. Hey, and I'm glad you. I stopped by too. Thank you. Hey, cheers.